Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales, Paducah, Kentucky, on an absolutely gorgeous June afternoon. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for tuning in. I've got a super nice coach right here to show you. My crew's been busy. They've literally been turning them out quicker than I can keep up with the photos, which is a good thing. That's not a complaint. That's a good thing. All right. This coach right here is a 2020 Renegade. I believe the model number is a 45 CBK. 45 foot, bath and a half, bunk beds, sleeps eight people, 600 horse, 36,000 miles. It is a cherry. And when I say cherry, out of probably a solid, the last hundred coaches that we've sold, which granted, we detail, we service every coach that comes through here. We check them over, etc. But out of the last hundred that we have uh, received, this ranks in the top three of the cleanest ones as far as how clean it was when it showed up, okay? One owner coach stored inside a climate controlled building. Yes, that means the building was heated and cooled. And folks, it shows. This thing is immaculate. 2020, 36,000 miles, 600 horsepower, all the bells and whistles, okay? It's even got a little golf cart rack on the back. See that? Put your ATV golf cart. Uh, probably would even hold a Harley Davidson. It's very durable. You can see how they literally welded it into the hitch. They made a custom hitch, welded it in. It is removable. Uh, a couple guys in five minutes and it's off there. And then I have all the other hitch adapters for the coach. So don't freak out. It's not like they welded it to the coach. It's on a two pins, two guys in about five minutes and it's off there. But super, super cool. Again, the guy carried a golf cart on it, but you could easily put a Harley, a couple scooters, you know, something like that. But quick pass around the exterior. We're gonna go through the storage boxes. Uh, we're gonna take you on the inside and uh, just give you a, a quick overview of this one. Again, 2020 uh, Freightliner Cascadia chassis with a DD16, 600 horsepower engine. Uh, 45 foot renegade, uh, the big patio awning. It's got outdoor entertainment, outdoor cooler. I'm telling you, this one came in as clean as they come. In fact, my guy called me, the the uh, gentleman out here that kind of heads up our detail department. He said, do you even want to do anything to it? I said, well, I, let's still go through it like we normally do, but it came in clean as a pin. Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales, Paducah, Kentucky. If you're in the market for a like new, pre-owned motorhome or trailer, give us a call today or check us out at chasecoach.com. Lots of inventory in stock, normally something to fit every budget. Financing available, we deliver nationwide and we accept trade-ins too. I would love to earn your business. Let's check out the boxes. Okay, so we'll start out in the engine bay. Sometimes I forget, I remembered today to uh, give you a little video of this, but the engine bay clean as the outside of the coach, okay? Uh, over here under the driver's door, we've got our um, our fuel tank. So this coach holds, a, holds 120 gallons of diesel, single tank, so you can easily feel right here. Your def fluid goes over here right underneath the driver's door there. Uh, first compartment in is gonna be uh, storage, and then we've got the uh, Magnum Energy, one of the inverters. I think it's around 2,800 or 3,000 watt. And this is an all electric coach, so the inverter uh, powers a lot of your outlets, your TVs, your direct TV, your uh, sound bars, your refrigerator, keeps your food code going down the road without having to run the generator. Um, you've got 75 and 75 gallons, so 75 black, 75 gallons of gray, that's those two compartments. Um, next one up here, this one right here, you have um, the uh, little water area. I like the filter they put on, the fresh water filter. I've never seen one that brand, but it's clear, so you can kind of keep an eye on, you know, the condition of your filter. I like that. does have the powered fresh water reel. Uh, you've got your handles there for your black and your gray. Uh, you've got your green handle uh, when you put water to the reel, which you can see the, the hose down there. You pull it out, hook it up to your hydrant. You turn the lever down, the, the green lever there down like it is, fills the tank. If you raise it up, you're on city water. Uh, it also has black tank flush, uh, place to hook in your cable if you're at a campground. Uh, you got low point drain, your hose reel switch, and it does have a macerator pump on it. So um, 
moving on back, knee deep in rubber. Uh, it is the original tire, so they're probably dated 2018 or 2019. Uh, Michelin tires, front and rear, great condition. Uh, it was stored inside, so no dry cracking. Uh, it does have the 12.5 Onan generator with 722 hours. Uh, our crew, as you can see, the uh, Chase Motorsports label there. Our crew just got done servicing the generator. We do engine oil, oil filter, fuel filter, and air filter. So I uh, recommend running about 200 hours there before you switch it, change it out again. Uh, back here in the last compartment, we've got the automatic transfer switch and the powered shore reel. Uh, again, earlier I showed you this little custom rack. Uh, when I purchased the coach from this gentleman, he asked me if I wanted it, and I thought, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, heck, I bet it's two or $3,000 for someone to fabricate something like that. He, Again, he put a golf cart on it, but you could easily put a, uh, you know, a Harley or a couple scooters or dirt bikes or whatever. Um, something I want to mention, all the storage bays um, have the bed liner material, which creates an excellent moisture barrier. Uh, it's kind of like another little form of insulation, seals it off. So back here on this right rear compartment, we've got storage. We've also got the central vac system, in which there is an outlet inside the coach. Um, Aquahot 450, again, the coach is all electric, so no propane on board. Um, you've got the 450D Aquahot, the hydronic heating uh, so basically you know how aqua hot works it heats up antifreeze to almost a boiling temp and then runs your water through a heat exchanger to heat the water or runs the uh, antifreeze through um, a little um, looks like a little mini radiator more or less for layman terms uh, to make heat so uh, all that is uh, super nice upgrades on this coach uh, you can see the factory tile is included so factory tile down in this compartment and uh, the previous owner very OCD and that's so nice when we receive a coach and we can just tell that extra level of care uh, was taken. I mean just the the inside of the doors you know I mean there's always a little nick and scratch but these are like nines out of tens okay. Uh, got the Dometic outdoor cooler so you can uh, keep your drinks cold or freeze meat or whatever and of course if you didn't need the cooler you know it's just storage you could take uh, the cooler off that little sliding tray and just use it for storage. Um, Samsung TV, soundbar, super nice outdoor entertainment built in, flush mounted there in the wall. And then over here we have four of the big 8D, so that's 8 Delta, four of the big AGM batteries. They're all linked together. So again, I mean, just look at how clean the, the battery compartment is. And I know I'm talking this coach up, but I'm telling you, if you're in the market for a 45 foot Renegade, you need, um, you know, the big sleeping capacity. This one sleeps eight people very easily, bath and a half, low miles, one owner, look no further. I'm telling you, they do not come any cleaner than this. So that's the outside and uh, we'll take a quick spin through the interior. We'll take you through the inside. Of course, before we get there, keyless entry, uh, standard on most of your nicer Renegades, but not on all of them. I have seen some without, so I wanted to point that out. Complimentary Chase Motorsports limited edition rug with every sale. Entry rug. All right, here we go. So we'll spin around. Um, uh, typical Freightliner Cascadia cab. You've got uh, two air ride seats. Uh, flex steel furniture, I want to note, is in this coach. Uh, you do have the privacy curtain. Uh, this one goes to the middle. And then you've got this one over here that goes to the middle. Makes for excellent privacy uh, when you're done traveling at the end of the day or, or the weekend or whatever. Uh, as you can see, I don't have any of it on, but you got Fusion, uh, in-dash audio navigation. Uh, again, six-speed Allison, one of the high-torque transmissions. You can see the controls there for that. Uh, smart steering wheel with your cruise control, engine brake, marker light interrupter, um, you know, typical Freightliner chassis, but uh, they, they're all nice. I, I don't really have anything bad to say about the Freightliners, and they're probably, service-wise, the biggest in the nation as far as number of service centers. Um, this coach does have the locking differentials and the air dump. Uh, it also has all the safety stuff, so it has the uh, lane departure, the lane warnings, the adaptive cruise, all that is standard in this coach. Up overhead, you do see your backup camera display, and then over here it does have the equalizer systems, hydraulic, um, automatic leveling on it. So again, standard options on the Renegade, but wanna make sure we point them out. So how about this layout? Super cool, huh? You've got two sofas that both turn into queen-size beds with flex steel air mattresses. So it's not like sleeping on the floor, it's like a step above, okay? 
Uh, you do have a couple tables. Now, these do have to obviously come off and or out when you run the slide in, and they store underneath the sofa, so very easy to, um, to install or put up. Uh, all flex steel furniture, as I said a minute ago. Uh, it's got a porcelain tile floor in the coach. Um, little kitchen area here with the big uh, single basin, uh, the large stainless sink, Samsung convection microwave, uh, two burner true induction electric cooktop here under the microwave. And another thing, the microwave has a vent, so if you're cooking, uh, you can go over here by the light button, the vent button, and turn that on and pull all of the um, the steam or, or fumes or whatever out. Um, I've got the TV right now. I don't have direct TV or anything hooked. Uh, this has an amplified antenna, so all I'm doing right now is picking up like digital local channels. Um, something I want to make mention of before I forget, this does have the Renegade Multiplex, so everything's controlled here from your climate to your lights to your generator, your water pump, your aqua hot switches. As you can see on the green there, it's showing us battery voltage on the chassis and the engine batteries. Again, you skip down here to the lighting. Uh, power options, climate control. It does have heated storage bays too through the AquaHot system. So heated bays on this one. Um, again, water pump, heated tanks. Does have a built-in Wi-Fi extender, slide outs. Oh, and um, if you go to that last screen where the gear is down there and you hit that mobile app, you can actually download the, the Mira, uh, Vega Touch Mira app, type in that code, and if you're within Bluetooth range of this coach, you can control everything in the coach from your phone. So uh, very neat there. Up above the passenger seat, we have the WineGuard Traveler controller. Um, I see the in motion satellite switch. So that's something uh, I wanna make sure you're aware of. This coach has both. Not only does it have the in motion satellite, it also has the WineGuard Traveler uh, which is the one that once you get parked at the racetrack or campground or wherever you're at, you raise it up off the roof, uh, it turns, locks in the signal, and that will provide the HD channels from DirecTV. Um, if you have in motion, you cannot get the HD channels, but if you have the Traveler series, you can. And that's about a, I'm gonna see if you brought this coach in and said, hey, we love the in motion, but we really wanna get the HD channels um, you're probably looking at a solid $4,000 to add that. So this coach already has it. Uh, want to note the cabinet finish. That's a good view of it there. You can see, uh, forgot the name of it, but it's, um, it's got a, a real nice sheen and, and shine to it. Samsung residential fridge with the French doors on the top and the pullout freezer there on the bottom. Does have an ice maker, as you can see. Um, moving on back on our right here is going to be the half bath, so over here, half bath, and uh, this does have the washer and dryer to the left. We'll open those up here in a second. Um, pocket, sliding pocket door there, so that blocks off the uh, main living area from kind of the bunk area here. Tecma electric flush, the macerator toilets. Um, again, in the half bath, you've got your own little sink, vanity, um, overhead medicine cabinet, nice lighting, vent uh, up top there. Uh, window with day and night shades on each. And uh, spin around here to the bunk beds. You've got a bunk, uh, two bunks, one top, one bottom there, lighting, uh, USB power outlets, the control for the shades. So all the shades are electric, or I might say the night shades are the day shades are manual, the night shades are electric. TVs in each bunk. Again, look at that cabinet or that wood finish. I love that. Really, really sharp. Um, over here, as I mentioned, washer and dryer. Um, for the weight of it, your washing machine is always going to be on the bottom, and then your dryer is going to be on the top. And um, believe it or not, we've actually removed a couple of these. Um, customers have called and said, hey, we don't plan on using them, but we would love this storage space. So we removed them, put them a couple nice uh, clothing rods in there, and away they went. Uh, king size bed back here in the master. Um, again, shades on all those windows, too. Uh, multiplex lighting controls there. There's controls up under the bed, as you can see. And we'll spin around here. You've got a little wardrobe entertainment area uh, with another Samsung TV, DVD player, uh, connection for your uh, direct TV if you want to do the boxes. And then, again, another clothing rod runs full length behind the TV, as you can see. Lots of storage in this one, okay? And then another thing is you have a, another sliding pocket door. And this one actually goes from here all the way over to here to the bunk, so takes care of that. 
Uh, back here in the master bath to the left, you're gonna have another one of the Tegma electric flush uh, toilets, uh, another window with the day and night shades. You can see all your controls here. Uh, you do have an overhead fan, so when you're taking that nice, hot, steamy shower, you can um, pull all of the uh, steam out. Um, vanity, nice little sink there. Uh, medicine cabinet opens up behind the mirror here, so lots of space there. And then one of the parts that I love about every coach, how nice the showers are. I was just doing a, um, a video earlier of a Newmar Essex. Love that one, love the ones in the Renegade. So tiled a little uh, accent backsplash there. Overhead skylight, that's something you don't see in every coach that was an add-on. And then of course you have the, the sliding glass door. So this door goes over here, keeps all the water in while you're taking a, a nice, hot, steamy shower. That's right. So uh, we'll recap here, 2020 Renegade, uh, 45 foot bunk bed, sleeps eight people, bath and a half, 600 horsepower, 36,000 miles, six speed Allison fully automatic, uh, the heavy duty transmission. Uh, does have an inverter. The coach is all electric and features the aqua hot for the heating and the hot water. So I um, believe that recaps most of it. Over 200 photos on chasecoach.com, also with a price. And if you're watching this video, um, jump on there. And if you don't see the unit, more than likely it's sold, but reach out to me. We'll throw my number there on the screen. Uh, reach out and because uh, you would not believe how many of these units sell before they ever even go online. Um, so if you would uh, like to see what we've got coming in or, or maybe ask about this one, please give me a call and I can tell you if there's anything uh, on the horizon, we'll call it. So Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales, I appreciate you watching the video. Hit the subscribe button when you get a chance. Appreciate you watching, and if I can do anything for you, please reach out. Again, thanks, and uh, have a great day. Until next time.